A couple years ago, we had stopped into Gorge Harbor uh, over on, uh, I guess it's Cortez uh, Island, and I saw a boat named the Gorgeous, and uh, I had really never thought of a metal boat before, but I ended up uh, seeing this boat and I took a few pictures of it, and uh, I saw the, the logo for Eagle Craft and Daigle Welding and Marine. And, uh, and that's where it all started. And so then uh, when we looked into it, I saw that they had a, a website on the internet and then we saw them at the boat show and that's how it started. Daigle Welding and Marine Limited was incorporated in 1985 by Steve Daigle. To allow for the continued expansion of product and service, Daigle Welding and Marine constructed a new manufacturing plant and retail outlet in 2005. Over the past 20 years, Daigle Welding and Marine has established an enviable reputation as one of the premier builders of aluminum boats in North America. Steve Daigle has assembled a dedicated team of 10 full-time welder fabricators, 6 mechanic riggers, 3 paint and finishing professionals, 3 skilled cabinet makers, a maintenance person, a purchasing agent, an administrator, a salesperson, and a naval architect. Specializing in the manufacture of custom-built aluminum boats, the fabrication shop is equipped with a 10-foot shear, 2 10-foot brakes, 6-foot rolls, pipe and tubing benders two overhead cranes, and a forklift. I've actually helped commission a lot of production boats and there is usually significant problems, significant fit and finish problems, significant uh, systems problems, and didn't experience not a one of those problems. I think Dago Welding small enough and uh, they know their product needs to leave the shop and not come back and they're incentivized to do that and they do it. So it was far easier buying, building and buying and designing building and buying this boat than buying a production boat and modifying it to what I needed. The new 18,000 square foot facility was specially designed for the manufacture of custom aluminum boats. The facility includes a temperature controlled paint booth and 2,600 square feet of retail marine store. The Daigle Welding and Marine crew can work on as many as 10 vessels ranging in size from 20 to 42 feet at any one time. Daigle Welding and Marine Limited is certified for Canadian Welding Bureau Certification 47.2 for the fusion of aluminum. This certification ensures that the design and execution of all welds and joints meet the highest standards in our boats. Every Friday, Steve would send us an email that uh, briefly uh, described uh, what they had accomplished uh, and what they we're going to do in terms of the construction process and along uh, with that came anywhere from three to five uh, digital photos that that, uh, that I could download and I could take a look at and it, that was a joy. Uh, that way there was no surprises. We knew what was happening in terms of that uh, construction process. 
Our Eagle Craft Coastal Cruisers features warm and comfortable interiors that reflect the sturdy nature of our craft. Materials are selected for their hard-wearing qualities as much as for looks. This means that your boat's interior will retain its new appearance for many years of use. Electronics and instrumentation are carefully integrated into the dash of a coastal cruiser within easy reach and view of the helmsman. Seats are fully adjustable, controls close at hand, our years of building working boats for professional operators who are on the water for long hours means that you have one of the least tiring and most comfortable helm stations possible. I've had enough experience with fiberglass and enough experience with wood to know that there's no construction material that doesn't have its issues. You know, whether you're dealing with wetting of fiberglass resins or whether you're dealing with um, the need to maintain wood boats so that you don't get rot in them and using the right kinds of woods and for the right kinds of resins. Or in the case of aluminum boat, making sure that you've got the electrolysis issues in the, in the zincs handled. So it's there, there's maintenance, but the maintenance isn't um, isn't anything that looks daunting at all. In fact, it looks like it's going to be a lot less than dealing with fiberglass. Boat. And it looks solid. It looks it looks great underway, speeding across the the ocean. And I think we've done a pretty good job of making it comfortable on the inside.